Hello viewers, welcome to Darang College e-learning platform. In this video lecture, I am going to explain the meaning and nature of curriculum. This is the third chapter of the paper, Principles of Education for the first semester students under four years of undergraduate program. In any educational institution, physical resources and human resources are very important. By physical resources, I mean the entire infrastructure including school building, classrooms, furniture, playground, teaching aids, etc. And human resources constitute the principal, headmaster, teaching staff, students, non-teaching staff, librarians, etc. Besides these two resources, the third important component is curriculum. So before discussing the meaning of the term curriculum, let's try to know the origin of the word curriculum first. So basically, the word curriculum has been derived from a Latin word curer, which means a race course used for racing, or we may say it is a runway where one can run to reach his or her goal. Here, by goal, I mean to say the goals of the students, teachers, authority concerned, parents, etc. It's basically a shared goal. In the process of teaching and learning, both the students and teachers have their own respective goals. The goal of a student may range from acquiring good grades in exams to development of various life skills. On the other hand, the goal of a teacher may be to inspire, guide, mentor and help in developing various life skills among the students. Similarly, in case of the authority concerned and parents also, they have their respective goals. So, in simple term, we may say that curriculum is nothing but it is a runway where each and every individual engaged in the process of education run to achieve their respective goals. For better understanding the meaning of curriculum, it can be explained in two ways. The first, traditional or narrow meaning and the second, modern or wider meaning of curriculum depending on the perspective and context in which it is viewed. Let's discuss the traditional meaning of curriculum first. In traditional sense, curriculum is just a course, syllabus or content that is prepared in advance for the students that needs to be followed and successfully completed within a fixed time period. Here, I would like to draw your attention most of the students get confused assuming syllabus and curriculum to be same but syllabus or content is just a part of curriculum and curriculum is a much broader concept. Along with students, teachers and the authority concerned of an educational institution are also expected to follow this prescribed curriculum in traditional curriculum so that everyone engaged can reach their respective goals which I have also mentioned in the first part of the discussion. Traditional curriculum is teacher-centered and subject-centered where the students are not active participants but just a passive listener. The teacher plays the role of an instructor giving information without considering the needs, interest, and abilities of the students. It is also subject-centered, which means it is bookish, theoretical, and very impractical, focusing more on the lessons or syllabus to be completed. So from this explanation, we have come to know that traditional curriculum means the set of subjects taught at school. It is a content course that has been prescribed to be followed. Now let's discuss the modern meaning of curriculum. In modern sense, curriculum doesn't focus 
on the subject to be thought in fact it includes the total experiences a child may receive inside and outside the classroom that can help in all round development of a child personality all round development includes physical development mental development social development emotional development etc a child physical development may occur through different games and sports organized by the school so other developments are also possible to a great extent as per the modern curriculum has been planned so from the above discussion it is obvious that modern curriculum is child centered and life centered focusing on the needs interest abilities of the children for all round development whereas in traditional curriculum the child has no place for all round development as it is just subject and teacher centered this is the main difference between traditional and modern meaning of curriculum the next part that i have included in this video lecture is the nature of curriculum first let's discuss the characteristics or nature of traditional curriculum traditional curriculum is teacher centered it also emphasizes on memorization and rote learning students here are encouraged to memorize and learn the lesson by heart instead of giving more importance in making them understand the concept it has more authority on textbook as traditional curriculum is also known as subject centered so textbooks play a very important role textbooks are closely followed by the teacher to deliver lecture and making sure that the prescribed content is completed within the time allotted traditional curriculum is less flexible flexibility should be one of the most important nature of curriculum as the society changes the needs and demands of the curriculum should also change but in traditional curriculum it is observed that it is very rigid without taking no consideration regarding the social or cultural background of the children the subject thought in traditional curriculum is isolated as we all know that no subject can be thought in isolation one subject must have relation with other subject but in traditional curriculum the subject thought were less integrated when a subject is thought in connection to other subject it helps the student to create a lasting impression in their minds and help in gaining broad knowledge about the subject matter traditional curriculum is very unpsychological the curriculum is framed in such a manner that it doesn't con consider the individual differences it has very limited scope where the interest needs likes dislikes of the children were not taken into consideration in traditional curriculum students have to follow strict rules and regulations they are not encouraged to develop self discipline in fact it was more like imposing by the authority and teachers to maintain discipline traditional curriculum also emphasizes to a great extent on examination students are expected to attain good marks so as a result they are bound to learn by heart to whatever is taught to them by the teachers now we will discuss about the modern characteristics of curriculum modern curriculum is child centric unlike traditional curriculum modern curriculum takes into consideration the needs interest likes dislikes abilities etc of a child while framing the curriculum modern curriculum is always dynamic in nature it changes according to the needs and demands of the society and students as well modern curriculum is the total experience a child receives so it includes different co-curricular activities apart from classroom teaching and learning modern curriculum is interdisciplinary in approach 
as it correlates different subjects which is of great benefit for the students. In traditional curriculum, technology has no role to play. But in modern curriculum, technology plays a very prominent role that helps in enhancing and supporting the educational environment. Traditional in modern curriculum, it emphasizes more on critical thinking and problem solving skills as modern curriculum is also known as child-centered and life-centered so it helps in developing various life skills like critical thinking problem solving etc modern curriculum helps the learner to achieve their goals of being self-reliant and self-dependent by developing various skills like problem solving character building character etc